Hello everybody, update on this big sprinkle around building. I've been trying to attach some of the bones so I could get some added uh, watering width. Since I originally tested the amount of movement and force it outputs by itself. And the force it puts out is definitely uh, substantial and I'm happy with it so far. But now we need to set it up to uh, cover some ground. And uh, my earlier attempt at setting up bum, which was off camera, bought some crappy hinges here and thought, well, that should hold enough if I put a little cable off the top there. And uh, that didn't work out. I don't know if you can see that. This piece actually bent through here once I had the weight on. And of course, like an idiot, I welded it on. So I just ended up taking a plasma cutter and hacking it off and uh, <clears throat> starting from ground zero. Also, while this has been storage, it got ran into with a piece of equipment here and bent up, but otherwise it's okay. I don't think it's going to affect it being tried out here. So I went back to the drying board. We're going to cut all this off here. Probably leave this 45 in here. Just chop it here and chop this out, and then uh, just chop it here or something like that, and uh, do that on the other side. Put a piece of pipe welded in in place of where that cross member is, connecting the pipe up to here now, and then adding a uh, T type finning maybe in the center or offset, wherever it's going to be convenient. And uh, in the middle is going to be a high rise where the cables will come off to support it. And instead of hinges, we're going to go with thread fittings for now. If this works out, then I might change them to cam locks. So all that has to be done to transport this is uncam the uh, booms, disconnect the cable, and uh, away you go. So let's get to hacking on this thing. Got my original assembly cut off. Just uh, haphazardly just hacked them off. Those are the end pieces that I originally wanted the cable to go through. And I trimmed this out using a scrap piece of pipe to kind of get my uh, radiuses set up, which wasn't much, just kind of a little bit. I was going to originally hack this channel off here and just leave it kind of here, but I remember how it was kind of weak in the middle, so once I add that pipe through the whole thing, it should be. Uh, sufficient. If not, well, that's the whole point of building this and trying out a prototype here is uh, getting all the little quirks worked out and uh, seeing if I can make this happen or either that I'll run into a point where I feel like I spend a little too much time on this project for what it's going to accomplish and move on from it. This will be the new piece that will be uh, the base for the boom thought why not make it even wider. Have an old scrap drill press stand here that I use to uh, match whatever I need here. And uh, I do have a tubing notcher but it never seems to work for the size I need. I did find out this little adjustable table for a drill press really works good for this. And I can always just stick scraps through smaller pieces of pipe and clamp them down. As you can see I uh, did that here whole saw wouldn't pass all the way through, but at least I could do two sides of it and uh, make a nice little piece that'll uh, go over this just fine. Got some cleanup here, but that's no big deal. And that's how I'm making that. Um, I would have loved to have put a bigger collector on it and split it off, but uh, the sprinklers I got on, I believe this should still be more than enough capacity to flow to them. If not, you know, I can upgrade that at a later date, but for trial and error, I think I can accomplish it because the sprinklers I've got also have adjustable nozzles, so I can put smaller size nozzles on if it is insufficient flow. Now we have a straight reference point. These bends will probably show up a lot better. As you can see, the stress from this middle section, it's got a lot of force. It, uh, 
drooped it down, but it never drooped down further than that. I had plenty of uh, torque to pull a long hose full of water. So, but see when I had my boom, just uh, bent that right there. So, hopefully this design I'm coming up with will work. I'm gonna go ahead and just weld this in here. That's gonna be angled a little funny, but that'll be fine. And I thought I had those angles a little bit better than that, but nothing a little bit of scrap piece of metal put in there and weld in won't fix. So uh, the other thing is, is uh, this boom's actually gonna be six inches off to one side. I don't think it's gonna affect the balance enough to cause an issue. And again, this is just prototype. I wanna see the reason why someone didn't build a sprinkler like this. And if they did, why don't you notice them around? You know, there's, it's gonna answer a lot of questions for me and, uh, and chew up a bunch of scrap that probably would end up at the landfill, or not landfill, but a scrap yard anyway, so. It took longer than expected, but I got uh, what I wanna try to use for the cable. Two cables off each side here. Uh, going out to each furthering section, which each section is about 12 feet long. They'll be connected off the end of this. And uh, it seems to be secure. I can hang from it. So that's a substantial amount of load off the center there. And uh, the reality is, is the load isn't going to be off kilter on one side, really. It's mostly going to be pulling down. So it'll kind of balance itself toward the center. And then, you know, each one of these bars is going to act like a... Uh, thing to resist twisting. So I believe this should be tough.